Pincer toenails or trumpet toenails are toenails that curl so hard at the tip they almost touch or might even touch. Pincer toenails are hard to trim, impossible to tell how much to trim off, and until now seem like they're never going to go back to normal. But today I'm going to show you the trick I've been using for 30 years to fix them, so stay tuned. There is a full length version of this video, the link is in the description, but this version is for the people who only want to see the solution to the problem and I'm going to tell you step by step what you need to do. The first step is soaking the feet in warm water for at least 10 minutes to make the nails pliable enough to trim. Pincer nails are impossible to trim all the way across. You have to trim them halfway, then cut off that halfway mark to continue all the way around. If you can't determine how much free edge is available to shorten the nail, make sure to clean from under the nail first before attempting to shorten it. Pincer toenails will squeeze the nail bed so hard that it traps skin that you'll need to file down. You can clearly see a line of demarcation on the second toenail where there's nice clear nail growing and then you'll see a darker band near the tip of the nail on that second toe that still has the dehydrated portion that's squeezing the nail. Make sure not to leave any tiny side spikes of the toenail when they're so deep down in the sidewall. Sometimes you'll leave a little piece that might press into the skin, so make sure you get all of that off. You don't have to use an electric file to buff the surface of the nails or to remove thickness. You can use a hand file as well, but you want to get off a little bit of that thickness, only about halfway. Cuticle remover gets absorbed into the skin so quickly that you'll have to apply several different layers so the area can stay soft and pliable. We're going to apply some acrylic bands to the base of the nail today so it holds the nail open at the widest part. So as the nail grows up the nail bed, it will stop squeezing inward. So I'm using our angled cuticle pusher to gently scrape all of the attached excess skin from the surface of the toenail and around the free edge and sidewalls. You will get lots of excess skin under the nail from the pressure of the toenail pressing on the skin. So we're going to be doing lots of cleaning with the ingrown sidewalk cleaner to make sure we get all of that buildup out of there so the toenail can actually relax and go back to its original position. Leave me your questions down below in the comments and you can find anything and everything you need for your toenail concerns on our online store at meticulousmanicurist.com. We want the toenail nice and smooth and clean. So I'm using our mini buffer blocks to buff away any little teeny tiny bits of skin that are still left on the nail plate or surrounding the nail to make sure that our acrylic band that I'm going to apply adheres firmly with no lifting. Before 
before we apply the acrylic band, we need to dehydrate the nail to remove any oils on the surface so the acrylic adheres. I'm using pure acetone on a 2x2 two two non-woven square to clean the surface of the nail. Next, I'm going to use the toenail nippers to go around the area to clean off any little bits of skin that the buffer block missed. Pincer toenail kit comes with the acrylic liquid, the acrylic powder, and the number two Pure Kalinsky sable brush to apply the acrylic to the nails. Apply a small bead of acrylic at the base of the nail. Gently push the acrylic back into place to form about a two millimeter wide band. The acrylic band should only be at the base of the nail. You don't want to hold the nail in a pinched position. That's why it needs to go all the way to the back when the nail is at its widest point. The before and after photos are coming right up, showing the first visit. To this visit, you'll be shocked at the progress that her nails have made in just a short period of time. Be sure to leave me your questions down below in the comments. I'm happy to help you and direct you to any kind of playlist that you might need or link on our website for any products that you may need.